and that is Chelsea won, Man City won. And I gotta say, we could have won that. Could have won that. And not only could we have won that, we could have won that like 2 0 very easily because you're watching that game. I'm sure everyone watched that game and you go, you know, Man City are attacking us here. They're attacking us. They're getting chances, but we're hitting them on the break. And we looked as likely to score. We went in a game where it's like any team could score here. It could be us, it could be City. And instead of just sort of going for it, you know, having some cojones, which is surprising the Argentines didn't have any, he decided to switch to a back five. I don't want to immediately go and say, awful tactics because like within the first sort of couple minutes of us going into a back five I thought okay but when we do get the ball I guess chill while when Gusto are going to be really hard up the pitch maybe we'll offer just a different dimension in the terms of how we're counter-attacking maybe it'll just but no no as much as uh, I like Gusto and Chilwell going forward I think that I would prefer actual attackers being the ones in the counter attacks you know and that wasn't the case not saying they did anything wrong in particular scenarios I'll come to my head but just, we was in the game. We was in the game and he takes us out of the game to try and preserve something that's never going to be preserved. Apparently, I don't know if this is true, City haven't not scored at the Etihad since like 2021 against Palace or something. Or it was like something like that. 2021. Like, if, I don't know if that's right, but outside of that, even if it's a little bit sooner than that, the last time, right? It's still ridiculous. to tr We're going to be the team to defend. In the back five, we even play the back five often this season. We're going to bring Chalibur in. I mean, it comes with Chalibur. I'm not saying it's his fault. But we're just going to chuck a bunch of plays in the box and let them just fire shots, basically. You know, eventually one will go in. And we didn't lose. But I think, worst case scenario, if we stuck to how we was going, we wouldn't have lost either. I think, worst case scenario, we would have drew. But there was a higher percent chance. We went from having like a 50% chance of scoring and a 50% chance of conceding to just a 0% chance of scoring. And maybe in his mind, he was stopping the percentage of them scoring. But I think it was more important for us to still have that outlet, right? And I just don't like... Like, to me, there are players on the bench... That Madrid's on the bench. I made a video defending Sterling, saying you know, his output is far greater than Madrid's and Madueke's. But like, I also made it clear I still like those players and think they've got a decent amount of potential. And for some reason, for some reason, Madrid can't get a look in really at the moment. I say some reason, not like he's setting the world light, but like you can't really get a look in. Um, same with Madueke. And I just look at it and go, it's it's it shouldn't be this obvious, but it just seems like it is. Madueke sort of gives the ball away in that Palace game, isn't great in possession, so now doesn't trust him to come in against City. And like that to me is like it's 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 like it was bad substitutions just in the sense that you took Sterling off, Palmer off. Palmer's someone who can actually hold the ball up and keep it well, good in possession, right? Sterling some pace, you take both those players off really, like pretty early in the game. I like Nkunku coming on, even though he looked nowhere in the whole match. Um, but the players you bring on for them, really, firstly, it didn't work. You know, to be fair, they were substitutions that, you know, they're on the line. If, it, if, it, if you somehow managed to go through the game how we did, just clearing off the line a hundred times, then you get called a genius, even though you probably just about got away with what was game suicide and what happened was always going to happen it was basically inevitable which is one of them one of these shots is going to bounce in off someone or just go in clean and it was Rodri again like the first leg first leg first first game of the season when we played them and it's just like Madwicky can actually beat a man though Madrick has actually got a bit of pace and like the reluctance to bring them on and especially the Madwicky one because it's like I can't trust him now because he you know, relinquished possession against Palace. And it was like, yeah, I'm sure. He, it's just, firstly, it's, I don't know. To me, it just felt like so reactionary to that Palace game, why he wouldn't bring them on. And they were just stupid subs. Bringing on Cassidy to me was like when he bring, used to bring on Matson all the time. Just did it for the sake of it over bringing on other players. Over like trying to make a point to Madwek at the beginning of the season when he said, um, it's taken him like six months, but now he's finally learned the mentality. It felt like he was always trying to bring on Matson just because he didn't want to bring on that body, even though that body might like have a better impact on the game. He was bringing on Matson as like a left mid and he was never getting to the game. He brought on Cassidy, who I get, he's a tall guy, he's physical. We thought, you know, let's bring on Chala, bring on, bring on Cassidy, take off all our strikers and just like put 10 in the box, which is just like an awful idea. Like, 
just because you have more players defending doesn't mean you're actually going to defend better. Um, it came in off a deflection of a player because we're just crowding the bodies, the, the, the box of players. Um, and it's a shame because I think we were doing decently. We weren't taking all the chances, but we were having chances um, with Sterling on the pitch, with Palmer on the pitch. The creativity was there. And he like every single sub he made negatively impacted us. And we got worse and worse with each sub. And you got to say that's on the manager. Um, and yeah, it's like we get a draw away at City. That looks like it should be good for the manager, but this actually kind of looks like a game that's bad for him. Um, and it's annoying. Like the game says we want. No one would have looked at you badly or, you know, had an issue if you kept it how it was and, you know, you brought on, you know, logical subs you know if you if you brought on still attacking player if you did more if you just played it more straightforward and just did like for like subs and then we happened to concede and we and we still drew 1-1 one, one. the people would look at it completely differently now people are looking at it like we conceded because of the changes you made whereas before it would have been just like oh that's city for you what can you do so i feel like he's muddled himself once again poch um but it's fine i don't mind it I don't know who we got next. I think we got actually we're playing the final now against Liverpool, so it's good to go into that not losing some kind of belief that we can go up against a top team and and play well. I backed Sterling. Sterling scored. That 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 is you know apart from your team actually just winning. That's one of the best feelings when you back a player who you know you know it'd be easier just to follow the bandwagon for us to be back up and then they score immediately. What can I say? What can I say? Look, it's still only, I think that's like his sixth goal in the league or whatever, but what can I say? I backed the boy and the boy scored again against City. That's, you know, scored the first leg. I keep saying the first leg. I don't know I'm talking about it like that, but I don't know. It would have been nice to win, go level on points with Newcastle. It's a draw, so we don't gain on Newcastle at all. It'd be nice to actually make some movement up the table. Uh, other than just constantly always find a way regardless of the performance to stay in the same position but whatever um, that is all I guess I'll take it yeah